Hey guys, it's Craig with 5Bootstraps, btbootstraps.com. Check out the store, check out the social media links will be below. Uh, like and subscribe if you like, like the video. I uh, wanted to make a video today on the 16 Marines that were arrested for human trafficking um, and smuggling drugs. And also the Navy SEALs who were supposedly sent back from Iraq because of conduct on becoming, um, supposedly they were consuming a lot of alcohol and they didn't like that so they sent them back. You know, really disturbing when these types of videos or these types of stories make it into the news. You know, not because that they, that they happen. I mean, obviously if they happen then it should be reported what's disturbing, uh, particularly with the Marines, is that how in the hell did they get wrapped up in something like that? You know, I was really, really wanting to see who the names were and ethnic backgrounds and things like that to kind of see what in the world is going on because apparently this happened down at the border. You know, being in the military, you know, you're, you're held to a higher standard. Of course, I'm sure a lot of you people who are watching this video, we all know this. I mean, a lot of us who are, who are watching this or seeing this, you know, we're either served ourselves or we're veterans or we have families that, that served or we're veterans or whatever. But holy crap. You know, this puts such a negative mark on the Marines. It puts such a negative mark on the Navy SEALs. You know, this is also, this, I believe, the same battalion that the Eddie Gallagher was a part of. So it makes you really wonder what the hell is going on over there. You know, if all of his stuff was going on. And it kind of supports his, his version of the story about chewing out his man for not performing at the level that was expected of a Navy SEAL. You know, for acting immature, for... for breaking the chain of command and, and some of the things that he had reported on. I mean, you can go look up his story about what he said, you know, so you don't have to take my word for it. But, I mean, these men and women are a combination of both. I'm not quite sure. But again, they haven't released any names, particularly of the Navy, of the uh, Marines. That's just, it, stories like that do no one any favors. You know, not only is it incredibly legal what they're doing, but at the same time, you, you put such a negative mark not just on you know yourself but your your platoon you know your your comrades your base the the institution as a whole you know it's such a black eye can't wait to see what the stories say can't wait to see what's going on it's just it's mind-blowing how how this could even happen that you know that these men who's going to oath you know of, in, of integrity and all the military branches have their own you know, rules of, of conduct, their own oath or creed, integrity, you know, like for example, the Air Force was, you know, service for self, excellence and all you do, integrity first. And I know the Army's got like, you know, the loyalty and things like that. But, you know, these guys took an oath and they had a, and they, they had a pledge that they were supposed to conduct themselves in their lives that they should have never even been tempted with these, with these activities. It's just, it's an embarrassment. Anyway, comment below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, as more news comes out, we'll make more videos updating. Thanks.